Hello, I'm Ralph Shattuck, Regional Market Manager for BG, and uh, I'm also a trainer for BG University around the world. Okay, what I want to do to demonstrate to you today is the fuel stabilization, uh, the effects of supercharge and uh, stay built and things like that on the actual fuels. Okay, when we're dealing with big fleet accounts, we need to make sure that we keep these fuels nice and clean for years because they sit in the tank for years out there without breaking down. As soon as they break down, they start to make deposits. So we want to look after our customers as best we possibly can. The items that I need for this are the initial part is fuel system dryer, part number 280, a competitor's product such as heat, which is the biggest one in the world, okay, for fuel system drying, some test tubes, my little electrical boxes here. We're breaking down the current from being 12 volt to 12 volt, uh, one amp. Okay, and these are variable voltages, so we can adjust these, but 12 volt, one amp is what we need for this demonstration. Some water, some beakers with nails inserted in them. Okay, and these are connected to these uh, voltage regulators. Okay. Stay built. This is a competitor's product, product that's out there in the marketplace. They advertise it a lot for stabilizing fuels, petrol or diesel. BG Supercharge 2, okay, which is our cleaner, but we also include a stabilizer with it. And we want to do a comparison between all these different products while we're going along. CF5 is here just to make it look pretty. Okay, but CF5 actually has the same stabilizer in it as this one, as the supercharge. I obviously need some petrol as well, or some gasoline. And my ever-present slop jar, okay, to throw any excess stuff away with. I need a pair of glasses, because I can't see very well, but also it protects my eyes, just in case. You can wear goggles if necessary. The other pieces I need here, the nails, of course, but before we can use a nail that you buy in the store, you must sand it to remove the coating that's on there. Because we want to show that it actually corrodes the metal that's in here. If I don't sand this off, it's not going to corrode. I need a couple of droppers, okay, so that we can be very accurate about what, how much of this we're using and how much of this. They both say they need the same amount which is the fortunate thing about it, to stabilize the fuel. So we don't have to measure with two drops of this, five drops of that. They both get the same amount in there. Okay? So step one, we do our old faithful standby. We take some water in a test tube. And I want to get roughly the same amount. 